everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. Hey guys, um, so in this video we will be showing how to design and simulate on MATLAB Simulink or DC to DC flyback converter. I'm Sankarshan Dibya Prasad and I'll take you through it. So this is the design. Um, on the left hand side we have the circuit diagram of a DC to DC uh, flyback converter. You have um, a DC source, you have a linear transformer and then you have a diode and your capacitor which is in parallel with a resistive load. So for anything you will need a design, you will need to design and for that you will need a given set of parameters. So for our design, we have taken the parameters of the output voltage to be 48 volts and the input voltage to be um, 24 volts and the power power of the output should be 50 watts and resistance should be 50 ohms. So the current should be around 1 amp. And the switching frequency of the MOSFET, the switch S, which is marked on the circuit diagram, is 250 kilohertz. And delta V0 output ripple voltage will be 0 0.3 volts. Now, the duty cycle is calculated from the formula given, where N2 by N1, which is the um, number of turns in the secondary by number of turns in the primary, is equal to V output by um, voltage of the source into 1 minus D divided by D, where D is the duty cycle ratio. So the thing is, in uh, Simulink, um, simulations you have a linear transformer wherein you have to provide the input voltage and output voltage of the transformer so in that case you wouldn't really need to do n1 by n2 you just have to provide that and it'll automatically calculate n1 by, by n2 so assuming that our um, turns ratio is 4 so n2 by n1 is equal to 4 then if we put in the values of v output and voltage source we get um, the duty cycle to be 1 by 3 which is 0 0.33333 and uh, so another parameter we need to calculate is the capacitance that we do not know of. And the capacitance formula is given by D into V naught, V output divided by R into switching frequency into the ripple voltage. So if you put in these values, you will get 4.26 microfarad. So these are, these are just a set of values that we'll require. And now we'll move, move on to um, Simulink where we'll simulate the circuit. So yeah, on the right hand side, you have the circuit and the parameters that we require to begin with we'll need a power gui block we'll also need a voltage source um we need a dc voltage source so make sure you select the right dc voltage source so we'll just drag and drop this as well so once this is done we will um, next we will need a switch so for the purpose of this circuit will use a MOSFET as a switch and the amplitude is 24 volts because uh, we input that's vs is uh, 24 volts and we'll need um a MOSFET yeah and um, untick measurement port because we won't be measuring anything from the MOSFET and then now we need a linear uh, transformer so like I explained We'll be using a linear transformer where the parameter is just input and output voltage. We will not be providing the turns ratio. So first of all, we'll need to make the parameters into SI unit. Um, we'll go ahead and make an SI unit and we'll have to make the nominal power um, 50 watts because our nominal power is 50 watts. And the frequency is the switching frequency of the MOSFET, which is uh, 250 kilohertz. So 250 E part 3. And um, we'll make the resistance and inductance value zero because it's not much of our interest for this video. And the input voltage V1 is 24 volts and V output should be um, 48 volts. Now, since it's not a 3 one transformer, untick that box as well and make the connections as in the circuit diagram on the right hand side. Um, so now we need a series RLC branch. Um, so the difference between a branch and a load is load, you can specify the value in terms of watts. And in uh, uh, whereas in um, series branch, it's ohms, Henry, and Farad. So capacitance is um, one point, sorry, it is 4.26 microfarad. So E power minus six, and it'll be in parallel. And you'll also need a diode. So make sure you take the right diodes and the right blocks from the same power library
Yes. So once this is done, we'll uh, copy paste the series RLC branch and make it resistance. And we will need 50, ohm, 50 ohms as resistance as per our calculation. Um, what we'll have to do now is um, we will have to add a voltage measurement block to measure the output voltage and we'll also have to give the gating pulse to the MOSFET. Um, let me just zoom in. So now we'll need a display block and we'll need a scope and we'll need an RMS value to calculate the output voltage because it won't be pure DC. I mean, it will be pure DC, but you'll have ripples. So you'll have to calculate the root mean square. And now we'll take the scope, uh, scope to um, find out how the waveform looks like. And we'll also need a display block to display the instantaneous um, voltage value. Yeah, so you'll need this display block. Now we'll go to do a DC to DC um, PWM generator. So the input to this will be in terms of duty cycle, which is 0 0.3333 as we are calculated, and switching frequency is 250 kilohertz. So we'll make those changes. And we'll need a constant block to um, provide the value of duty cycle. We'll uh, put the value as 0 0.333, 0 0.3. Now let's, um, let's just verify and simulate the circuit. So it's compiling. So as you can see, the voltage is around uh, 46 volts. You will not get an exact of 48 volts because there will be um, voltage drops across the diode. So you can see that the stubber resistance of 0 0.8 ohms and the forward voltage drop of 0 0.8 volts. So you will not exactly get 48 volts at because there will be a certain voltage drops along the way. There'll also be a voltage drop at the switch as well. So yeah, so this is as accurate as it gets. So if you do want 40, exactly 48 volts, you will have to provide a bit more voltage in the primary side. And that's the how the waveform looks like. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, I'll stop the simulation now. If you guys do like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel and um, yeah, click on the like button. Thank you.